up everybody it's DJ Marks and I'm back here with another quick tutorial for you guys here inside Studio One and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the chord track function here inside Studio One to know you know jot down some quick chord progressions and this is pretty much for anybody that doesn't really have a strong background with playing a piano and it'll definitely help you get some ideas down quickly so all I did so far was open up Nexus, get a piano out, and I laid down a few triad chords. These are like C, C diminished or something like that. C augmented. This whatever it is, it's just very terrible sounding. Or just sound like a horror movie. Either way, all you do is jot down some chords real quick. And then you go up to here and you turn on your follow chords and with that you click right click go to extract chord to track and you should see this up here and what you want to do is take it down to your first chord double click and you'll see the scale and all the chords you could choose. Definitely don't want to use the diminished chords, right? So we're going to go to minor, and that's going to turn that into a C minor chord. And then you want to click and hit D to make another chord. Click on it, and you want to use a, pick another chord. So we're on the one. We'll try to do one, four, five, seven. So one, two, three, four, five. five and seven and we're just going to quickly highlight all that and hit D to copy it all over oh my baby's crying hold on it's okay producing and being a daddy all right and so next you go over click your track you make sure you hit this I button. The I brings this strip up for you. And you click follow events. And then go down to parallel or narrow. Parallel will give you the chords. Narrow will make sure all the chords are like tighter. And uh, so some chords aren't, you know how sometimes you have a chord that's here. And then one's way up here. And make sure everything's nice and tight. So it sounds even. And you just click it, and now your chord is going to follow your chord track. There you go. Quick and easy chord progression. I mean, you got to experiment and play around so you come up with a better progression and everything, the one that suits whatever you're doing. So real quick, all over again, you get to your piano or whatever instrument you're using, you lay down a simple triad chord progression. You go up to your chord track, you press on, then you hit your right click on your track, extract the chord track, and once it pops up here, bring it down to your first chord, double click. And you just pick whatever chords you want to use. That's it. Oh, wait, that's not it. And then make sure you hit the hit the eye on your track. Go to layers to follow events. Hit the check mark. Then pick one of these two. And then if you have a bass track, obviously you hit bass and then it gets your 808s and key and everything too. But that's another video. Alright. So I'm DJ Marks. That's been another quick tutorial here inside Studio One. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.